Hello everyone, Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel where I love to bring you my best tips and tools to inspire you to create beautiful home decor on a budget. Today I have five fast and fun spring home decor DIYs made using mostly items from Dollar Tree. So with all that being said, let's get crafting. For today's first DIY, we're gonna make this scalloped plates sign using some of these pastel colored plastic plates from Dollar Tree, as well as this gorgeous butterfly napkin. And I'm gonna use some wood letters from Hobby Lobby, but I will show you an alternative. So I love this butterfly napkin. I love how the colors of these plates match with the napkin. And the awesome thing about these napkins is the pattern is over the entire, all of the six panels of the napkin. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. I'm gonna use two plates of each of these three colors. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my napkin and lay it flat. I am going to place my napkin on that center circle of my plates and I'm going to trace around it. I'm gonna do this for all six of my plates so that I will have a circle of the napkin for the center of each of my plates. Now, once I took the back ply off the napkin, I didn't like that you could see the plate through the napkin. So I'm going to paint the center circle of each of my six plates with one coat of white Waverly chalk paint. And then we'll let that dry completely. Now I'm gonna use these wood letters from Hobby Lobby. You can always use the poster sticker letters from Dollar Tree if you'd like. I like these tall skinny letters. They come two in a pack for about $1.49. I'm sticking my letters down and I like how that blue is in there. So I'm gonna paint my letters with Ocean. This is gonna make them really pop off of that napkin butterfly background. So just painting all my letters here. The nice thing about sticking them to the painter's tape is they don't move around while you're trying to paint them. So we're gonna paint those and set those aside to dry. Now, when that white paint is dry in the middle of our plates, I'm gonna apply some matte finish Mod Podge. We're gonna spread that out as smoothly and as thinly as we can, because then we're gonna take our napkin circle and gently place that down on the center of our plate, just gently pulling, pressing, uh, matting it, patting it down like this to get it as flat as possible. If there's a little bit of wrinkles, that's okay. You're not going to see those. So we're gonna apply that napkin circle to the center of each of our six plates. Next, once those are all dry, we're gonna take some hot glue and we're gonna glue one of our wood letters that we've painted with ocean blue right to the center of our plates. We're gonna spell spring and this is gonna be a really nice sign that you could either hang or use as a leaner. So here's all of our letters glued on. And then I'm actually gonna choose to glue these to a yardstick. If you don't have a yardstick, you could use five gallon paint sticks across the back. And I'm putting them a little bit side to side so that the scallops touch each other and you can't see the yardstick. So just one at a time, I'm lifting a plate, putting some hot glue down, and gluing until we get all of our plates in a row. And here you can see this thing is pretty tall. 
I'm gonna start up here and show you, and I just love it. It's very lightweight because of the plastic plates, and I just love how this turned out. If you're stopping by my channel for the first time today, welcome. I'm so glad that you found me. I hope you enjoy what you see and you'll consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button. I also hope everyone will take a second to tap that bell. Make sure your notifications are set to all so YouTube should let you know each time I upload a new video or go live here on my channel. For DIY number two, we're gonna make this super cute bunny box using a couple of wood crates from Dollar Tree, this bunny from this Easter sign, and some of these glitter ball picks and floral foam. So I decided to actually only use two of the crates that I had. And this is what my store is carrying now, these um, really strong, they're, I feel like they're bigger than the other wood crates, they're thicker, and they have this really cool laser cutout on the front. So I'm taking two, wood gluing them together, clamping them until they're dry. And then I'm gonna take Pool, this Waverly chalk paint, it's a nice light blue, and I'm gonna paint the entire outside of my crates as well as the edges on the top. Next, taking this bunny from the Dollar Tree Easter sign, I removed the other pieces and I'm gonna take two of these bamboo skewers and glue them to the back of our bunny. And then we're gonna move back to our crates and I'm also going to cut some floral foam that's going to fit into the bottom of each of these crates. I'm only keeping it about an inch thick. I don't need it to be too tall, just need to be able to poke in the little glitter ball floral pieces. So once I have my two pieces cut, I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue in the bottom of the crate. This is going to keep the foam from flipping out with the weight of the floral picks. Next, we're gonna take our bunny and we're just gonna trim those bamboo skewers so that our bunny is a little closer to the crates and poke those into the floral foam. Then taking our floral picks, if you don't wanna use these glitter balls or if you don't have them at your store, you could definitely use whatever florals or greenery you would like. And there's our finished product. I love this. It could be a centerpiece on your Easter table or just a beautiful decor. For a list of all the tools and supplies I've used in today's projects, open up the description box below the title of this video. There you will find the link to my link tree, which gives you my Magnolia Design Co. website, my Amazon storefront, my Telegram, my email, other affiliate links that belong to me. For DIY number three, we're gonna use a few other items from Dollar Tree, as well as this fall sign and a Dollar Tree napkin, a beaded wreath, and this wood bunny, I believe was from last year, but you could definitely use the wood cutout bunny that they have this year. So removing the raffia, the tag, the string from this sign, 
I'm actually gonna use the back of this line as the front, and you do not have to do this step if you don't want, but I actually took the time to peel off the paper as best I could, and then I sanded it, but it did take a very long time. So maybe you just want to leave the back how it is, or just paint right over that decor. But I did remove it and I sanded it and then I'm gonna paint what was the front that I'm using for the back of my project. I'm gonna give this a coat of Waverly chalk paint in the color Agave. Next, while that's drying, I'm gonna take ballet slipper and I'm just gonna give one coat to this super cute little bunny. Like I said, if your store doesn't have this particular shape, you can use whatever bunny cut out that you'd like. Next, I'm gonna take this beaded uh, wire, what do you call this, a wreath? And I decided I'm gonna paint my beads white, so I'm just using the pizza pan to um, kind of be my catch-all for any paint that gets off the beads. And this did take a little bit of time, but I was really happy with how it turned out. Okay, now the back of this sign I'm actually gonna use as the front. I'm gonna Mod Podge that Dollar Tree napkin on, but first I wanna give it a coat of pool. It's a closer color to the napkin than the brown. I really don't want the brown to show through when I Mod Podge the napkin on. So just give it one coat. It's okay if it doesn't cover completely, and then we're gonna let that paint dry. Then once it's dry, we're gonna go over it with a coat of matte finish Mod Podge, getting that as evenly distributed as possible, and then we are going to let that dry completely as well. Then once the Mod Podge is dry, we're gonna take our napkin, we're gonna separate the front ply from any others. It looks like there's just one other ply on this napkin. We're gonna open it up and lay it over our entire circle. We're going to iron this onto that dried Mod Podge. Make sure you put a piece of parchment paper so your iron doesn't um, heat up so much that the Mod Podge comes through the napkin. It's good to have that little barrier there. So you're just gonna iron that on, get it as smooth as you can. I pay particular attention going around the edges. Then taking my little mini sander in a downward motion, we're gonna sand off the excess of the napkin and get our nice, beautiful circle covered with this gorgeous Easter napkin. There's the back, and the napkin is now on the front. So I'm just gonna take a pokey tool and poke through the napkin where the holes are on the sign. Then centering my beads, I'm putting them where I want them and then I'm tracing around them with a pencil so that I know where I need to lay down my hot glue to be able to glue this bead wreath right to the center of my sign. Next, I'm taking the hanger that was on the sign and I'm going to use some of these light blue beads from Dollar Tree's Easter section. I think I'm gonna put about eight or 10 of them on here and then we're gonna add the hanger back to the sign, just putting it through from the back to the front 
and putting a couple of knots to hold that hanger in place. Then the last step for this project is just to glue the little bunny cutout to the front. We're gluing it to the top of the bead wreath so that it stands out and is dimensional. If you want to make sure you're notified about videos here on YouTube and lives and also lives on Facebook, please consider subscribing to my Telegram broadcast channel. The link is in the description box below this video. And I personally send out those reminders about 20 to 30 minutes before I go live. For DIY number four, we're gonna make this Easter icon standing sign. I wasn't quite sure what to call it. I'm using a board, three of these square frames, three of these ornaments from Dollar Tree, and this paper tablecloth. So this board I've had for a while, it's from Target's Dollar Spot, and I'm just gonna paint it white. You can use any type of board that you have, even a tall one from Dollar Tree. Then taking these square frames, I'm going to remove everything from the frame, leaving the little tabs facing down, which helps these frames stand up. I'm gonna paint over this gold glitter frame with fern green, and you'll see why I chose this color in just a minute. So I'm gonna do the front of the frame, the inside edge, and the outside edge of all three of these. Then taking these three wooden ornaments, a chicken egg and a bunny, I'm first going to take some wood filler and just fill in that little ornament hole from the back, just taking a small amount and just kind of pressing it into the hole there and then setting those aside until they're dry. Now I found this paper tablecloth at a thrift store. You could use napkins for this. You could use scrapbook paper, whatever you'd like, cardstock. I'm gonna use this uh, tablecloth. So I'm cutting a piece. You can see the green there, which is why I chose to paint the frames green. I'm going to trace, once I get to the inside layer here, I am going to trace the glass square three times and I'm gonna cut out three pieces of this tablecloth that we're gonna put inside these frames. Next, coming back to our ornaments, I'm just sanding on the back there where the wood filler was and a little bit on the front. And then we're going to just paint these a solid color. The egg, we're gonna use pool blue. The chick, we're gonna use maize yellow. And the bunny, we're going to use ballet slipper. And now that our frames are dry, we're gonna put it back together. We're gonna to put the glass down. Then we're gonna put the square of the tablecloth that we cut out. 
Then the backing sheet there, but I'm gonna flip it around so it's white behind the napkin. And then put the backing of the frame back in, folding those tabs down. Once it's securely in there, I'm going to carefully remove that little easel part because we don't need that. Isn't that so pretty with that tablecloth uh, pattern in there with the green frame? I just love this. So we're gonna put all three of our frames back together. Coming back to our board, I'm just gonna sand it, give it a little bit more of a distressed look. You don't have to worry about this too much because these frames are going to cover the majority of the board. So I'm going to now hot glue the backs of the frames onto this board. I'm starting with this one here right in the middle and then I will evenly space the other two above and below. Coming back to the ornaments, I'm just going to sand them lightly around the edges just to give a little bit of a distressed look. And then once those are sanded, we are going to hot glue those to the glass on each of our frames. And here's our finished product. I love this. It's so pretty and it's gonna look amazing up on my mantle. If you love budget home decor DIY videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up and leave at least one or two comments. That lets YouTube know people are enjoying my content and they'll show it to more and more viewers. For DIY number five, we're gonna make a really pretty and easy hanging sign using this charger plate, some window clings from Dollar Tree, and some beads. You could also choose to do this project on a pizza pan if you can't find these charger plates. So I love this gray distressed look with that edging and this happy Easter wreath on this window cling set fits perfectly inside this plate. So as soon as I can get this thing removed from the backing, I'm gonna show you how pretty it looks, even with the gray background. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be perfectly clear, and it is, I love it. So seeing that it's gonna fit perfectly there, I am gonna put a little bit of Mod Podge. I'm trying to use just a little bit because I don't want it to dry white underneath the window cling. So I'm gonna keep brushing this around until it seems like it's pretty clear. And then we will place our window cling down on the center of our plate. And then using your fingers and maybe even a burnishing tool or a brayer if you make cards and have that rolly tool. Just try to get it as flat as possible before that Mod Podge dries. Now I love it like this, but I wanted a little bit more of that pink color. So I'm gonna take ballet slipper and a chippy brush and I'm just going to add some color around this decorative edge of the plate. Again, this is an optional step. You could just leave the charger plate gray or use whatever color you choose that you want to pull out from the window cling. All right, this is a Crocodile Big Bite, and this is what I'm gonna use to gently punch two holes in our plastic charger plate, and then we're gonna be able to add a beaded hanger to our sign. Of course, this is optional as well. You could just put this on a plate stand and call it good. So I'm using again some of these Dollar Tree Easter beads and I'm just gonna put some on some jute twine 
and then we're going to tie it through those two holes on our charger plate sign. And I love how this turned out, so cute. So keep your eyes open for these gorgeous window clings from Dollar Tree. Thanks again so much for joining me today. Please, as always, let me know in the comments which of these projects was your favorite, and we'll see you next time. Take care.